Good morning. I'm at uni all day today doing like really dumb menial shit and and programming festival stuff. Abby's here. Abby's also dying. Hi. How, how long have you slept? Like 11 hours, but it feels like nothing. It feels like nothing. How many shots of coffee is in that coffee? This one has three, but I'm up to, what did I say, five? five. I'm up to five. Caffeine addictions, man. Not good. No, I just wish like euthanasia was like a thing for people who aren't sick. <laughs> 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 like, Stop! <laughs> no! I'm getting demonetized. Let, let me know down in the comments if you want if you want euthanasia for free. If you know any like shady basements that do it, let me know. <laughs> Get Abby up. Uh, she'll pay good money. <laughs> Imagine if I die like spontaneously and then they find this. They find this vlog and, like, and they're like, they're oh, like, that's what happened. Go on like the suspect list. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the suspect list. Great. Sam did it. I did it. I uh, I just got sick of Abby and her shit. <laughs> This is gonna be on a true crime po podcast, I can tell. Eventually. That's a, that's such a trick. <laughs> to be the subject of a true crime Someone's podcast. Someone's gonna be listening to this while they go to sleep. <laughs> well, maybe that's just me. As you can hear, the psychopath. <laughs> 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 sleepy, sleepies. All right, let's, I'm get class time. It's class time. Class time. No, I'm putting this in the vlog. How long were you sitting in class before a break? <laughs> no, but every single time um, he like showed like three videos, I completely forgot the first one and the second one. Yeah, and same. Then he was asked questions. My Don't brain's use. struggling. I uh, I thoroughly disliked that every second. Of yeah, that was I'm, I it. that was not fun. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't set the camera up. And walk out here. <sighs> and then walk in the door. Uh, no. In all seriously, I, I'm in the office for like the next 10 minutes. Um, and I thought I would talk quickly about what I'm doing as a practicing professional right now in the industry. Um, I'm kind of just chilling, eating a bag of cheese. It's one of those afternoons. Cheese. Want some cheese? There we go. Now I have cheese in my lens. So right now I'm working on a few things, which I've mentioned in the vlog before. One of them is the workshops. The other one of them is just films and stuff like that, always working on some films, always writing something, always shooting something. And, and the third one is West End Film Festival. I was lucky enough um, to be a part of West End Film Festival through my university, SAE. They kind of set me up with it and I'm curating all of the events that are running at SAE. Um, alongside with some other people and it's it's all panels and workshops and all of that fun stuff so it's like right up my alley but one of the things that I've been struggling with lately as a as a programmer is time management <laughs> oh fuck but I thought I'd sit down and give you some tips for if you're gonna work on any festival projects anything like that just kind of like my thoughts on festivals so far as like a first time festival person um, thought number one it can be fun. I'm gonna turn the aircon off. Thought number one is is it's quite fun. Like that that is ge it's genuinely fun, but it is stressful. My my biggest like take back for this is that I wish that I'd started what I'm doing now two weeks ago. I wish that I had the information that I have now four weeks ago. Um, so I think the, the the bit of advice that I'm giving myself and you here is push. Push really hard for, for, for the information that you need because if you don't get it, you're more likely to make mistakes, you're more likely to be stressed, you're more likely to have a nicotine addiction and die at 32. Take two is ask lots of questions. I haven't been doing that. I need to ask more questions. Even if they don't get answered, keep asking them because eventually you'll get answers. I'm lucky to have like two people that I can go to on this project that are really great with questions and answers. Um, and a third person who used to run the festival and no longer does, he's amazing at giving me advice and stuff like that. But that's my third piece of advice is, is really look after yourself and ask questions. 
Fourth takeback from this so far is that, you know, you need to be really prepared to communicate with people. I'm pretty good with communicating with people. I, I'm, I'm an extrovert. I, I do it a lot. I, I have this vlog as a medium of communicating with people. I talk to people daily. My DMs don't leave me alone. But uh, sending emails and calling people and all of that is just one big part of, of you know, curating something like a festival program. Um, panels etc because you've got to contact all the panel members you've got to contact the venue you've got to contact this you've got to contact that it's a mess but if you can keep your head clear through it and, and communicate clearly it's it's kind of a good uh step step five the tip five take back five from this is that i will never run a festival in my life uh, at the beginning of last year i like had a plan to run like a film festival a youth film festival I don't think I will. I don't think that that's something that I want to do. I, I've tried this, put my little finger in the pie. The pie is kind of hot. It burns. I don't like it. I don't want to do it. That's that's my take backs from this. I think it's been a really fun experience overall, but it's been a really stressful and confusing and uh, unorganized experience also. And everyone's just doing kind of what they need to do and uh, they're busy, you know, everyone's busy, so it becomes hard, especially on a project like this where all of your organizers are like very um, volunteer based. No one's getting paid. So it's it's kind of rough, to be honest, and I hope that everybody who is working on WEF is okay. I, <laughs> if you're watching this vlog, I love you all. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my takeaways from, from doing festival work so far. But essentially, where I'm at now, uh, this afternoon, I've got a, a few plans. I really need to leave now. I was gonna make a Facebook post, but I don't have time. So, I love you all. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. I wanna say a big thanks to Jersey. I, I really do appreciate your, your vlogging tips that you sent me via email. Um, and thank you for watching the vlogs. Uh, look, yeah, I, I can be a bit camera shy sometimes. It's not even camera shyness. I think it's just like camera, I don't want you in my faceness, but I also want you here. It's a love-hate relationship with it. So I get that. I, I, um, I appreciate I appreciate your, uh, your advice a lot, and I will take it on board. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Goodbye.